All right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our regular, or our, I'm sorry, our special council meeting for August 11, 2023 at 6 p.m. here at the fire station. Good evening, council, administrators, and our audience members here. Thank you for coming. Uh, so if you would call roll, Mr. Kitko. Uh, Mayor Lowry. Here. Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilman Bond. <clears throat> here. Councilwoman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Cook. Here. And Councilman Lindsay. Here. And Councilman Rodewald. Here. All present. All right, thank you. Uh, tonight's invocation will be done by Councilman Lentz. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask you to give us wisdom and guidance in this meeting tonight concerning the business of the city. Father, we ask you to keep a hand on our firefighters or police officers or military and administration in this council. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so there's not much on here. Pledge of Allegiance, uh, action, non-communications, non seminary support, none. So what we'll do is we'll go to comments from members of the public, if any of you guys have anything you want to say, and I would assume before we move down to resolutions or ordinances, uh, after comments from the public, we'll break rules, go into executive session, and then come back and then go to those two items to be voted on or, you know, however council sees fit. So, uh, so that, at that point, um, if anybody in the audience has anything they'd like to say, just we don't have a podium here, it's a small room, but uh, if you have anything to say, just stand up your name, your address, and whatever you'd like to say, if anybody has anything. What are we talking about? What, what's on the <laughs> ballot here? Uh, so you need, uh, something to start with. So tonight is going to be, well, I'm, let's see here. It is going to be, it's basically, it's a letter, it's a um, whether or not council wants to give uh, Mr. Bridge a, a letter of intent or, you know, memorandum of understanding for uh, his, you know, position if he was to return. Or to, you know, entice him to, re to resend his resignation. And now you're asking the public. Yeah, at this point, this is the part where if you guys have anything, you know, this would be the time for you to say it. Okay. Normally, we'd have a podium. You can go off to the side of the camera or, or over here if you'd like so everybody can see you. But, but for the record, Mark, give us your name and your address. My name is Mark Hensley. I live at 5040 Studebaker Road, Tip City, Ohio. Um, I feel as though on this topic, um, you guys, each and every one of you, are making a huge mistake. Uh, by not um, considering what you have as far as a city manager. I've been in New Carlisle for 40 years with businesses. Randy has helped us out tremendously. Um, most city managers come into this city, want to make a name for themselves, and they just jump off. Or they don't really care. It's just a job, it's just a paycheck for them. Um, if Randy were to leave, I believe we're going to have someone else coming in to make a name for themselves, stirring up a bunch of problems we don't need in the city. Some of you are business owners in here and you know what that's like. Uh, others, if you work for someone and you're not guaranteed tomorrow, on your job, why would you want to put in anything else? Why would you want to throw an extra bunch of time into your job if you're not guaranteed what you have? So that's my two cents on it, and I'd appreciate you guys to vote to keep Randy. If he wants to double his money, that's well, up to you, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's not. I would not double anybody's money, but um, Randy does a great job for us at the city. And for the record, Randy's not asking to double his money. That's just exactly. his, that's his personal comment. If he wants to, I reconsider and say, well, maybe we ought to. <laughs> right. Because he does a great job. I didn't want anybody to think that that yeah. was the case. So, all right. Well, thank uh, you. Howie, being the assistant manager, could probably do the job, but you're going to overwhelm Howie, and he's not going to have any hair left when you get done with this. It's a job that it's a job that actually takes four people, and you only have one doing it. Yeah, well, one and a half, because Howie's got his own stuff to do. So, um, 
just saying that uh, I'd like for you to reconsider and maybe take take a look at, at uh, what Randy actually does for the city and keep your personal beliefs about Randy and just always use it as a business. Thank what you, Mr. Hensley. What was your address again, Mark? 5040 Studebaker. That's right. Good, thank Mr. You. Ketko? Yep, thank you. Anyone else? All right. Um, do you need a motion to move those? No, what we'll do is if they're done, I mean, I got to say something and kind of and reply to Mr. Hensley, but we'll go and we'll break rules and go to executive session. Okay. But I did want to say just kind of a, to a reply to, to Mr. Hensley's comment for anybody else listening that what? I got something to report. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't see you. Go ahead, Jim. Name and address. Four zero three is on the street. Just so the camera sees. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I was wondering, it keeps ringing in my head that Randy said when he got shot down by a couple of people for a raise, he said, I told you guys my five year plan, and that's what I'm going to stick by no matter what. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what was in that five year plan. Because that, he never said, and it wasn't in any of the meetings, so I don't know if it was in like executive session or what, but. I, I Did he say at the last meeting? No, it, 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 it's, it's when he was going up for a raise. Okay. And a couple of people, I think, said no, voted no, and he, he was mad. And he said, well, we've already talked about this, and I told you my five-year plan, and if I don't stick to that, I'll be going. If I remember right, and you, you can correct me. Well, right, but I mean, he's mm -hmm. he's mentioned five-year plans also in normal, but I, the, if I'm thinking of the same thing. He's talked about five-year plans as far as the progression of the city. Is that what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. I think. Okay, so as far I, well, as developments he was and about his personal five-year. Oh, okay. Plan, well, the way I took it, and that's why I was wondering mm -hmm. if that five-year plan included leaving the city. Okay. Good. Well, mm -hmm. if I, yeah, yeah. Um, his five-year plan. I mean, and you're you're partly right. It was. And it wasn't a plan, it was a goal, aspirations. His five-year aspirations was to break a number. Um, and and, and okay. it, was, it was a salary. I mean, we all have aspirations of where we want to be financially in year one to year five. Uh, when Randy got hired in well before my time, he was vastly underpaid. And to be honest with you, he's still vastly underpaid for what he does. Um, but his, his five-year goal five years ago was to break six figures was to break the hundred thousand dollar threshold so it was just a money thing. yeah that's yeah. why i didn't yeah, i mean because um, he you said know, that he had talked to everybody about it I, mean, I didn't know that it was yeah. just money i mean i can't i don't want to speak for if, for randy um randy randy will speak for himself but i i can strongly say randy randy has never looked at new Carlisle as a stepping stone um job he 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 truly in his heart of hearts loves this town and wants to grow with this town and wants to be with this town um for as long as we will have him um but you know with that comes certain obligations from from <coughs> our end to make sure that that we're, we're a partnership here this isn't a, a boss employee thing this is a partnership council with with not only randy but the other city administrators to make sure that we're we're living up to our obligations um we throw a lot of a lot of work on our on our administrators just not randy howie um and, and, and others and um, you know uh, they Randy has gone to bat for the last couple of years to make sure that they're, they're they're compensated for the the hours and time that they do because like 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 the gentleman said Randy does a job really of two sometimes three and for the last six eight months four um, being the city planner as well um, so you know um, but his five-year plan was just his personal goals, where he wanted to be financially, um, from where he started to where he is currently now. Um, now, now he does have a, a plan for the city when it comes to growth and where he wants to see growth, which he shared with us, and we all know what kind of ideals he has uh, when it comes to not only new development, bringing in new business and, and things of that nature. Um, but, but no, I think what you're talking about was his, his financial aspirations. Yeah, that's what. I just wanted to make sure that nobody was going to jump through hoops. No, no. To be honest, I mean, I you know, know if his plan was to move on to a, to another position in another city or. Whatever, I mean, man. I just didn't. I mean, you can say you. I mean, you can never say never. I mean, you know, if someone right, comes right. in and offers well, him something, saying, you guys already but, knew the plan. Yeah, and it, um, was, it involved that. 
No, no, that that was more for. Yeah, no, that was more for financial aspirations that he had. He had set him personal goals for himself. Um, and and I and uh, we we uh, the last pay raise we gave Randy, um, he he met that threshold. And I'm not saying we're not we're not done giving him pay raises. Well, I mean I'm done because I'm done in December, but you know. Um, I'm sure more pages raises will come in the future as more and more responsibilities come. Um, so, yeah. Anybody else have anything? So I just wanted to get back to kind of what I think a lot of people have perceived as is, is that this is something that's, and I'm not speaking negatively about Randy, but this wasn't something that we brought on. This was brought to us. At, you know, was it was at what two council meetings ago where he brought the resignation to us. Um, I wasn't a fan of the manner in which it was done and things that, you know, that, you know, were, you know, just how it, how the whole thing come about, um, you know, but I, no one up here, you know, especially for, you know, for me, I don't want to see Randy go. Um, but uh, I just, I don't want anybody thinking that there, there's anything negative gearing towards Randy that has caused this because, you know, Randy has gotten everything he's ever asked for from council. I mean, sometimes there may have been a, a no vote on one of the issues, but not enough to change anything. I mean, he's got, you know, he asked for Mr. Kitko to be the assistant serv or city manager. He got it. He's asked for a raise every time he's asked for a certain number. He's got it or more. Um, we, we've tried to make his load a little lighter by Forced, not forcing him, but saying, Randy, you know, you're overworked. Get yourself, a, you know, a, a assistant secretary, something to take some of the stuff off you. No, I'm good, I'm good. And that, but that's Randy in, in a good way. He's hard headed and he knows what works best for him. But hopefully, if, if you know things go well tonight, maybe he'll he'll uh, he'll take some advice or or he'll realize he needs a little extra help because he is. He he does a phenomenal job. He just I wish he would uh, lighten his load just a little and and you know get a little help in there for him. But um, yeah, it's it, none of it was any anything negative from city council that we wanted Randy to get to this position. Um, so that's all I've got to say. So anybody have anything else? All right. So I got one more question. Though. Yeah. Do I need to stand up again? Yeah, I mean you don't have to, but it'd be nice. So why are we to this point? Why is the city to this point right now? I have an emergency meeting at six o'clock on Friday. Did Randy never ask for a contract? Why are we here tonight is my question. Did you guys never give him the contract that he wanted? Or are we just, is something he just made up last time, two weeks ago? No, no, I mean, it's been, I mean, he, you know, he's asked me casually about contracts, uh, you know, sitting in his office or, uh, I don't know if he's ever talked to you guys casually about it. And he's mentioned it, you know, a little bit in a couple of council meetings, but we've never had a sit down like, hey, let's have a formal meeting. Let's let's go over what, you know, council would like to see out of a contract or Mr. Bridge would like to see out of a contract. Um, you know, so that's, I mean, that's why we're where we're at, I guess, if you will. It's just, it's it was never, you know, me personally, if, if I don't know if I'm going to say this because of the executive sessions that we were in, but I think things would have worked out better if we would have got to a point where instead of throwing out a resignation, which you've got to do what you feel is best, and that's what he obviously did. Um, but if he would have said, hey, before I do this resignation, let's have a special meeting and just hardcore discuss, I would like to get a contract. Uh, instead of going this route, so this is you know the route that he chose, and now you know we have to kind of you know, do some backpedaling or some some you know some changes or alterations or whatever it is that the, the, the group decides to do to see if we can make this work. So that's why we're where we're at. I'm not saying Randy didn't ask for it by any means. Um, it just it was never brought up in a hardcore set on the agenda discussion. So that's why. And he makes out the agendas. Randy did. Yeah, I mean he could. I mean. Randy makes the agendas. But I'm not going to. You guys know when, when you guys want more money, when you want a dollar an hour raise, hey man, I need a dollar an hour. And you don't get that dollar an hour, you're looking someplace else. But that's you're not. The, but that's not someone. the case, Mark. Well, I'm just saying. Not even close, because there's I'm times where. I'm not saying money. I'm well, just saying like, you can throw it out there all you want, contracts, money, whatever. Hey, I need a contract. Need a contract. Or I need a dollar. I need a dollar. You're going to go someplace else to get that contract or that dollar. And that's where I'm thinking that we're here in, a, in an emergency meeting on Friday night mm -hmm. because it's come down, the, the rubber meets the road tonight. This is what happens. You're going to have a new city manager mm -hmm. tomorrow, Monday, maybe, mm -hmm. on Howie. 
<laughs> so, I mean, whatever. I just want to voice my opinion on this, and just that, that's where I'm at with it. Fair enough. I think, yes, sir. sir. Do we need to break rules of council to go to two executive sessions? We do. I move to break rules of council to go to executive session. Second. Second by Mr. Well, I mean, or is everyone? Yeah, was you, everyone. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. Not yet, okay. Chief. Uh, so you can call for Mr. Vice Mayor was your second. Yep. So got it. Call for the vote. Uh, Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. And Mayor Lowry. Yes. And Vice Mayor Graham. Yes. Passes 7-0 to uh, break rules of council. So Mr. Mayor. Mayor. Sir. Move to go to executive session. Second. For what reason? Yeah. Oh, sorry. To discuss the employment of public employee. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Second by Mr. Vice Mayor. Okay. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman <clears throat> Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Councilman Roadwald. Yes. Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. All right. It passes seven to zero to enter into an executive session. Okay. Mr. Mayor, sir, I move we move, move. I move that we move back into regular session. Second. So we got. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, was a motion by Mr. Vice Mayor and second by Mr. Lindsay to return to regular session. Okay, Councilman uh, Roadwald. Yes. <clears throat> Mayor Lowry. Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond. Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston. Yes. Councilman Cook. Yes. And Councilman Lindsay. Yes. Passes 7 0 to come back out of executive session. All right, so we'll be moving on to resolutions if you'd like to read it, please. Absolutely. Resolution 2023 14R, introduction and public hearing and action on tonight. A resolution authorizing a letter of intent regarding the employment of a city manager. All right, Council, any discussion or questions on that? So uh, as I just say, I need a motion first. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's motion. okay. Sorry, I got backwards. Second. So motion by Ms. Eggleston, second by Mr. Vice Mayor. And then Jake, I mean, since you're the attorney, you want to just kind of go over that for the public, what it, what it, I mean, just in general, what it is? Yeah, it's a uh, non-binding letter of, of intent offered to Randy regarding uh, employment of city manager. Again, it's non-binding, uh, but it does require that uh, both parties uh, negotiate in good faith uh, toward uh, reaching an employment agreement on or before December 1st, 2023. All right, thank you. Council, any questions or comments on that before we vote? All right, when you're ready, Mr. Kitko. Councilman Bond? No. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? No. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? A very reserved yes. In resolution 2023-14R passes five to two. Okay. Moving on to ordinance 2023-48E introduction, public hearing and action tonight, an ordinance appointing Howard Kitko as interim city manager and declaring an emergency. Move to accept that. Okay. They can, they can still be, I guess we can yeah. do that way. Yeah, okay. you can do it that either yeah. way is fine. Okay, so first Vice Mayor Grimm, who's the second? Mr. Hardball. Ready for a vote? Yes. Okay. Explanation? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, the explanation was uh, to name me interim city manager uh, in the event uh, a resignation was in full force uh, or no other terms were assigned. All right, any discussion? When you're ready. Let's see, Mayor Lowry? Yes, or I mean, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> goes. Sorry, I'll right. explain this a little bit more. This would be like, um, if for some reason, which I don't think is likely that Randy doesn't right. uh, take back his resignation, at least we would have a city manager in place. Um, so that should be considered. Well. So you're saying to pass it just in case? 
Or yeah, that's just uh, so if there's a city manager in place, the, just in case something. And then later in the day, if Randy comes back, <clears throat> then, it then we can we can. Then it, it that basically goes away automatically okay. if he comes back or um, uh, the 180 days is up or a new city manager is hired. All right. So yes, I'll stick with my yes. Thank you. Yeah, right the first time. Right. Uh, Vice Mayor Grimm. Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eagleston? Yes. <laughs> Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? <clears throat> Can I ask a question that we're in voting, Mr. Mayor? It says this is declaring an emergency, so it goes into effect immediately. The and if the other, if the resolution is accepted, that letter of intent is accepted, so this automatically goes away? No, it would not go into effect. The letter of intent is for us to draw a contract. He's going to have to be rehired. No. How he's no, going no. to be the acting until no, that is no, done. No, 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 that's wrong. <clears throat> Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Jeffries? Could you repeat that? Sorry. This, it says here this is declaring an emergency. If this would go into effect immediately, and then Mr. Kirko would be the acting city manager. Yeah, it goes into effect August 12th. Um, goes into effect tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. And if Mr. Bridge accepts the resolution, then, he, then this does not go into effect. Is that, am I correct on that? Uh, it, it would be in effect until he rescinds his resignation. Okay. So if we, all right. Yes. If we put him on paid administrative leave for a week, then how we be the yeah, acting so. city manager? I'm good with that. Which would just be like if he was on vacation, how he assumes yep. Randy's duties. Okay. Councilman Rodewald. Yes. That passes 7 0. Mr. Mayor. Sir. <clears throat> Make a motion to put the city manager, Randy Bridge, on administrative leave Paid. for a period of one week. Paid. Paid administrative leave, sorry. For Second. one week. And seconded by Mr. Rodewald. Okay. I did. I didn't hear you, Mr. Sanger, oh, I got Any discussion? I did. He whispered it in his ear. When you're ready. Uh, Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? No. Yeah, hold on. Oh, you, didn't put, you didn't put a date on that, did you? I said for one week. It'd be the 14th or 18th. All of next week. So the 14th through the 18th? Right. In fact, the 14th through August 18th. Go ahead, Mr. Kiko. Okay, I'll guess. Give me one second. All right, so I got Councilman <clears throat> Bond. Uh, Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Councilman Cook? No. Councilman Lindsay? Mm, yes. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. The motion to place Randy on administrative leave from the 14th to the 18th is passed 5 to 2. All right. Any other business? Mayor, move to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by Ms. Eggleston. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Lindsay? Yes. Councilman Rodewald? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Vice Mayor Grimm? Yes. Councilman Bond? Yes. Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. Right. Pass the 7-0. We are adjourned. Right.